Good morning, everybody, from Expedition Neverland. We are here on a very exciting morning. Today is the first day that masks are no longer required when you are outdoors at the Walt Disney World Resort. This is huge. I am staying at the Contemporary. I am walking over to the Magic Kingdom. I told you yesterday I'm gonna have a little bit more time uh, to put out these videos, and this is an example of that. News broke last night that Walt Disney World now does not require the masks. So I am here at Magic Kingdom this morning to get in there and show you what it is like without masks outside at the Magic Kingdom. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button, and let's head in to the Magic Kingdom. Here we go. It is about 6.56 in the morning. The park doesn't open until eight, but I know they are letting folks in early. And again, just feels amazing to be out here with all these other folks not wearing any masks. I am curious if they are still doing temperature checks. I don't think they are. I think today is the first day of no temperature checks. So we will see that in a second as well. But right now we're kind of queued up here, waiting to get in to the Magic Kingdom. While I stand here waiting to get into the park, full disclosure, I am fully vaccinated. If you have any questions about that. But again, no masks required when you are outside at Walt Disney World. And it is now officially confirmed, no more temperature checks at Walt Disney World either. We are walking straight through this tent where they would normally do your temperature checks. And we are heading straight through security. So this will definitely streamline your day. No more temperature checks at the Disney parks. At the Magic Kingdom now, the first thing I am noticing is that cast members looks like they are still required to wear their masks outside, while the guests, in fact, are not. Here is the signage that Disney has put out. Masks are required at all indoor attractions, as well as outdoor attractions when you're on the attraction and in those lines. Exciting stuff. I am first in line to get into the Magic Kingdom without my mask on. Here we go. Standing here waiting, I am noticing a few people that are still choosing to wear masks. And I am the first one onto Main Street this morning without my mask on. Incredible stuff. Let's get on Main Street. So for a little while now, you've been able to take your mask off for photos, but you have not been able to just walk up and down Main Street without your mask off. So I literally am just taking it in. I am walking up Main Street, actually walking down Main Street right now, and I am not wearing a mask and it feels incredible. Wow. I know people who haven't been to Disney in a while are probably like, why is this so exciting that he is not wearing a mask? Well, because I come to the parks just about every single day and those masks become unbearable in the heat. And so this is just amazing to be walking on Main Street, not wearing a mask. So awesome. Kind of curious how the characters feel about this new mask thing. Let's go ask them. Let's see what they feel about not wearing masks at Magic Kingdom. What do you guys think about not wearing masks? I see Pluto's excited about it. Daisy, she doesn't know what to do with herself. She's so excited. Wow, the characters are stoked that you don't have to wear masks outside at the Magic Kingdom. Disney does still have the distancing markings here outside of the Emporium, so I would imagine they will still be limiting the number of people that go in. Uh, also, once you enter an indoor establishment, you must put your mask back on. So you still do need to bring your mask when you come to Disney World, but when you are outdoors in common spaces, you do not need to wear them. Living here in Florida, I hardly ever get to the parks at opening, and I kind of miss that. Uh, just look at how empty it is over here in Liberty Square right now. Maybe I'll have to start coming to the parks when they open every once in a while, because it is definitely nice to be out here and not have to wait for anything at all. Just spoke to an awesome cast member, because I was curious, when you are standing in line, do you have to wear your mask? And uh, they were letting me know that when you are kind of out in the extended queue area, you do not. But as soon as you get to a part of the queue where you see this sign on the trash can here, no eating or drinking beyond this point, that is when you have to mask up. So when you are in the extended queue portion out here, no masks. As soon as you see a sign like this where it says no eating or drinking beyond this point, face masks must be worn, then that's when you pop on that mask. I've already talked to a few cast members this morning. They are also super excited about this new mask policy. Right now it does not apply to them. They still have to wear their masks when they are outside, but they are very hopeful that soon they will not have to wear their masks outside, and I would hope so for their own sake. There's no reason when they are outside, they should have to wear a mask. Uh, again, this is all from the CDC. This is not, you know, Brandon making up uh, policies. Uh, masks do not need to be worn when you are outside. Look, I get it. When I go inside, I'm in a crowded pl uh, place inside. Sure, I will put on that mask. But when I am outside, in the open, I ain't wearing a mask. Sorry. Looks like we got some people already lined up for Splash Mountain this morning. Some in their masks, some not. Looks like in this line, most are not in their masks. 
Just as I'm walking around here, just a couple of real quick updates. I mentioned yesterday I have a TikTok channel now. That is Expedition underscore Neverland on TikTok. Make sure you go and check that out. Follow that channel as well. Um, lots of cool stuff getting posted on there daily. We are at 691 subscribers here on YouTube. Last time I checked, I truly appreciate each and every one of you that have taken the time to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't, if you are watching and you have not, please, please, please do me a favor, hit the like button on this video, hit that subscribe button. Once I hit 700 subscribers, that'll be a big milestone. And then let's get to a thousand so that I can start going live from the theme parks and bring that to you as well. Might as well ride something while I'm here. Take a look at how this works. So we are over at Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm about to enter the queue, so I will mask myself up. Now I am fully safe from COVID, and now it's time to ride Pirates of the Caribbean. Definitely don't miss this thing. I may have my own boat, but you know, you gotta be careful. You can still catch the COVID, even on your own boat, on Pirates of the Caribbean. Keep that mask on, folks. Just got off of Pirates. Oh, and that feels good. Walking off a ride pop that mask right back off and just keep walking around the Magic Kingdom. It's gonna take some getting used to. I literally just took my mask off getting off of that ride and I'm walking and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, I don't have my mask on. It's gonna take some getting used to, that is for sure. Uh, so strange, you know, having to wear it for a year and now all of a sudden don't have to do it anymore. So definitely gonna take some getting used to, but I love it. Crowds are starting to funnel in now. Let's give you a little sense of masks. Some are, some are not. I would say the majority are not wearing masks, but again, some choose to wear masks. It makes them feel more comfortable and that is fine by me. Little random thought that I had as I'm walking around without my mask, I, you know, every once in a while I'm like, oh, where's the person telling me to put on my mask? Well, the mask police are gone. Hopefully they weren't all laid off. Hopefully they were put somewhere else, but just kind of one of my random thoughts. What happened to all of the mask police now that they are no longer needed? Are they getting put somewhere else? Hopefully. Hopefully they're not getting laid off. Let me stop just for a second here and just share with you how my morning has gone so far. Absolutely incredible. You know, I never realized how much I missed seeing people's faces. Just seeing the children smiling as they're walking up Main Street, even the adults. I know it sounds corny, I know it sounds sappy, but it's so true how much I've missed that and just watching that sheer excitement on the children's face as they see the castle for the first time or as they're getting up to get in line for Seven Dwarfs Mine Train something so special and I am so excited that I was able to be here this morning and share with you this breaking news out of Walt Disney World. Again, masks are no longer required when you are outdoors at any of the Walt Disney World theme parks, Disney Springs, any of the resorts, any places like that. She's excited. I'm excited too. Pretty incredible stuff. Again, I shared with you last night uh, that I'm going to have more time now to put out these breaking news videos. So please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification button so you're updated. If you like this video and you like videos like it, hit that like button as well for me. I would really appreciate it. And that's going to do it from the Magic Kingdom. I will be back with you in a couple of days for that Chef Mickey's review, which again is just reopening for dinner service after being shut down for over a year. So that is very, very exciting stuff as well. Again, I am so happy to be with you today from the Magic Kingdom without my mask on. Remember, it's an expedition out there, so never land. See you guys real soon. Crowds are starting to funnel in now. Let's give you a little sense of masks. Some are, some are not. I would say the majority are not wearing masks. But again, some choose to wear masks. It makes them feel more comfortable and that is fine by me.